One of the most debatable and intriguing stories of the Second World War is the Nazi plot to allegedly kidnap Pope Pius XII. When the Nazis occupied Rome during the conflict, there were several rumours and stories about how an SS general had been ordered in 1943 to kidnap the head of the Roman Catholic Church on the orders of Adolf Hitler. On the 25th of July 1943, Hitler was informed that his friend and key ally Benito Mussolini had been deposed in Rome. Since the British, US and Canadian troops had landed in Sicily a few weeks earlier, Italy had been volatile and the leadership had been teetering on the brink of collapse. Hearing the news of his friend's downfall, the Führer would fly into a rage demanding immediate action for German troops to occupy Rome and overthrow the new regime. In this intense rage, he would demand allegedly the kidnap of the Pope. Remember if you do enjoy our videos and find them interesting, please make sure to subscribe. Hitler during this rage would denounce the new Italian Prime Minister, who was a popular general, and described him as the grimmest enemy. He would also direct some hatred towards the hands of the Vatican, and would spout some hatred about the Pope. He allegedly stated, Do you think the Vatican impresses me? I couldn't care less. We'll clear out that gang of swines. During this tirade, he threatened then to kidnap the Pope, to teach the Italians a lesson that they would never forget, and force them to regret their deposition of Mussolini. Determined to take this severe action, it took a combined effort from the senior Nazi officials such as Rommel, Goebbels, Ribbentrop and Goering to prevent Hitler from taking the steps to kidnap Pope Pius XII that would have an incredibly negative international repercussion. But Hitler would vow to settle things and get back at the Vatican. Both the Pope and the Führer had run-ins before and detested each other, but Hitler would now switch his attention towards liberating and restoring power to his great friend Mussolini. In Germany, however, officials remained incredibly worried that Hitler would order the kidnap mission. Admiral Wilhelm Canaris, the head of the German military intelligence service, the Abwehr, was so alarmed by the threats against the papacy that he called for a secret emergency meeting on the 29th of July 1943. Here he would inform his Italian counterparts in intelligence about the plan, which would shock the Italians, as they were amazed that Hitler would even threaten this action against the Pope, who is considered to be God's representative on earth. This brutal threat would be directly against the will of God and could be posed as a threat to the supernatural power. Canaris would blow the whistle on the plan and would discuss the impending Nazi invasion of the Vatican, telling them to hide important and sensitive documents and artifacts under the marble floors of St Paul's Basilica. As the rumours of the kidnap continued, plans would be devised to evacuate the Pope through a series of underground vaults and catacombs which would be found under the Vatican and would conveniently lead to a convent on the outskirts of Rome. The Pope would then be taken to a village north, would board a fishing boat and would travel to Milan before crossing into Switzerland. This plan shows you the true fear that the Italians had and how seriously the Italian intelligence service took the threat. Some consider Hitler's plot to kidnap the Pope as merely an extremely angry man going off on one and spouting some threats, but there was method in this. In July 1943, the invasion of Sicily was successful and with the British Secret Service mission of Operation Mincemeat, Hitler had been tricked into thinking that the real Allied invasion was to occur in Sardinia and Greece rather than Sicily. At this time, Hitler was also coming towards a huge defeat on the scale of Stalingrad as the Italian forces were unable and unwilling to fight for their country. The pact between the Germans and Italians was starting to disintegrate and come to a fractious end. The loss of southern Italy would lead the Allies to take key airfields, allowing them to launch bombing raids against vital oil supplies that the Germans possessed in the Balkans. At this time also, the offensive against the Soviets at Kursk had backfired, and Germany was losing territory in the east. Hitler would try to galvanise the Italians, but after meeting Mussolini in Venice on July 19, 1943, it was clear that the Italians wanted out of the conflict. A few days after this meeting, Mussolini would be deposed, and the fascist party would be disbanded. Hitler would suspect that the Vatican was involved in Mussolini's downfall, and was aware that the Vatican Secretary of State had been approached to use the offices of the Pope to find out if Italy could concede to the Allies. The Pope was seen as a way of ending hostilities between the Allies and the Italians, and it was considered that peace would be initiated by the Vatican and would be supported by a great number of countries. There was also evidence found that the Vatican were making preparations for the withdrawal of Italy from the Second World War, as cardinals would receive different documents stating this. 
one particular document sought the Vatican's involvement in asking the Western powers about their intentions in the future regarding Italy after the conflict, to see what would happen to the country following the end of the war. Hitler began to become alarmed that the Vatican would be used as a way of detaching Italy from the Reich, to give blessing to the new government and also to bless the Italians' decision to sign an armistice with the Allies. This would later happen in September 1943 and the Nazis would retaliate by seizing central and northern Italy, installing Mussolini who had been liberated from captivity in a daring raid back into power. Quickly however Mussolini would be assassinated though, with his body being shamed in public, being hung in a market. It was time for Hitler to settle the score against the Holy See. Allegedly, Hitler invited Karl Wolf, an SS commander in charge of security in Italy, to discuss the occupation of the Vatican and the transfer of Pope Pius XII to Liechtenstein. Wolf would allegedly state that the Führer would say, Now I have a special mission for you, with significance for the whole world, and it is a personal matter between you and me. You are never to speak of it with anyone without my permission, with the exception of Himmler, who is aware of everything. I want you and your troops while there is still a strong reaction, to occupy as soon as possible the Vatican and Vatican City, secure the archives and the art treasure, and transfer the Pope for their protection so they cannot fall into the hands of the Allies. How quickly can you prepare this operation? Karl Wolf would state that he managed to somehow convince the Führer that this would have an increasingly adverse effect in Germany to the German Catholics' morale, and the international repercussions would be extremely severe, causing more damage than what would have been achieved. With great reluctance, Hitler would then shelve this plan, but Wolf would then also, like Canaris, inform the Pope of Hitler's intentions. The possible invasion of the Vatican by the Nazis and the kidnap of Pope Pius XII is debated by historians. Some believe that the plan hatched by Hitler was legitimate, despite the fact no official German documents refer to the plot. Some though see the event as mere conjecture and perceive the testimony of Karl Wolf to be a fabrication or mere rumour, made to portray him in a positive light and as an SS general who helped to save the Vatican. It's up to you what you believe, however the thought of a possible kidnap operation on a man who's believed to be God's representative on earth is extremely interesting and rather shocking. No doubt if this would have occurred, great offence would have been caused throughout the world for Roman Catholics, and Hitler would have been seen as an incredibly brutal and barbaric man, even more so than he is perceived to be now. The kidnap of an extremely holy man, an important figure such as a Pope, would have been intensely shocking. I hope you found this video interesting. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.